Hey guys, this is Nate, and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. And today I'm actually going to be trying a quick little experiment. I've never tried this boat before, but I'm going to be using my flint and steel kit that I have here. I'm going to try and light this, but without using any char cloth, I'm going to try and use some 91% isopropyl. You saw me do it with the uh, antiseptic pads. This time I'm going to try it with this. This is a high vapor rate, so I'm figuring it's going to come in useful for, uh, it should light. Now do I think you should carry these out into the uh, field with you? Sometimes I do, but not for, uh, not for any purpose of just bushcrafting. Usually I bring these out with me for science. So, what I'm going to do is I have to do this really quick because since this is 91 it goes up really quickly. But let's see. Okay, there we go. It's not lighting it. In fact, it's just kind of ruining my rock here. So. But, I don't give up that easily. Hold on, one second. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Let's try it with some higher heat sparks. Okay, so what this is telling me, and I've actually lit isopropyl before, and it generally goes up pretty easily. This is telling me is it needs a, something a little bit more. So let's. Take a little bit of more jute. Actually, it's not even to use jute. So let's try using a little bit of char cloth. Of course when I'm doing this on camera it doesn't catch. Let's try a different edge. Quite literally, every time I do this on camera, 
It doesn't go right. <laughs> I'm just trying the shower method. There's a couple sections of my char that isn't that good. Let's try one of my better pieces of char. I really do need to heat up my char cloth that I have here. Recook it. Seriously, why is it every time I do this on camera? There we go. Yeah, I don't even think the ice purple is going to catch, so let's just finish this off. Yeah, for some reason, this is, you know, this is high proof alcohol, and it just doesn't want to catch. So let's... So, experiment. I've done it with open flame before. I've got a nice purple caught, but for some reason, this stuff doesn't want to catch. Yeah, I'm really beating up this piece of flint. I was hoping this was going to be a really cool experiment, you know. Some flash. But nope.
but you know why? That's why we experiment. And I lost the ember. It's because the jute is saturated. Oh, well, now I'm gonna make it. There we go. That was just to satisfy me. And of course, as I flick at the yeah. <sighs> yeah, so for some reason the alcohol didn't want to catch, and just to prove it does. Yeah. So it does catch, it just takes more heat than I expected. So, I want this burn out. My name is Nate, I'm the Art Outdoorsman. My conclusion to using isopropyl as a reliable tinder source is, uh, no, it's not. If you have an open flame, it catches really well, but if you don't, might as well not use it because it messed me up in the future. I gotta go take care of my flint because it's kind of ruined now. Um, and, well, I have to reshape it, so. I will catch you guys later.